let's do this for the kids. We have a donation list. It's coming to us from a, from a Clark. Clark's Apocalypse Legacy here. We are a modern streamer, but for the kids, we will play just about everything. I joke, but I don't joke. If you gave me 60 islands and told me a format to play it in, I would do it. As long as that donation went through to Extra Life. So thank you, Clark. Appreciate it. This one's for you. I hope I don't completely destroy this. Maybe chat can help us. It looks prison-like. Let's go over what we've got so we kind of understand what is going on. And let's see if we can take a few games down in Legacy. So, I know some of this. We have the ancient tombs in the City of Traders. It's a very, very red thing that, uh, you know, we're familiar with. Makes mana. Got Chrome Mox, Trinispheres, Chalices. Got it all. I understand. Dark Ritual makes more mana. This usually goes with something combo-oriented. We have a Turok along with him in here. So we're going to try to make our opponents discard cards. So that works. We have the ability to do a Void Walker so we can play their cards. Cool. Dark Confidant to refill. Everything here is making sense so far. Now we have Shieldred. We played that a little bit in Modern. So we understand this draw and do some damage. Okay. Rotting Registrar. We played that in Historic. So this gets... Uh, to be a 7-6 for 3, you just got to discard a card at the beginning of upkeep. So for Hellbent, it doesn't really matter too much. And then we got a Legacy card in here, Opposition Agent. So let's read this one. Flash. You control opponent while they're searching their libraries. While an opponent is searching their library, they exile each card they find. You may play those cards for as long as they remain exiled, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast them. All right. Opposition agent. So we're going to control our opponent. We have Thought Seize. I know that. Plague Engineer. I know. Trinosphere, Torp Orb, Null Rod. Activate abilities of artifacts can't be activated. It's kind of like Karn. We have Leyline of the Void. I got that. Helm of Obedience is a card that has a million bits of text on it. The gist of it is you're basically supposed to put cards into the graveyard repeat until uh, you put... Um, Creature card or X cards. If you have a ley line of the void, I believe this just like empties the empties everything, right? Yeah, combos with ley line. And then we have a Mire of Misery. Each opponent sacrifices a creature enchantment. Okay. Uh, random thought season here. And uh, that is the list. I don't really know why it's called Apocalypse Legacy other than we're just going to destroy our opponent's hand, hopefully, with some him effects and then just beat down with Shieldred and, and, and get it done. Yeah, we have Dothy, some Void Walkers in here. Oh, Dothy and Helm is a combo. Okay. We kind of have some of the gist of it. We kind of have some of the gist of it. We'll see how it goes. Some Shady, yes, we do rent cards through Mana Traders. All right, for the kids. Read Shouldred's full name. Oh, the Apocalypse. Shouldred is just, it's just understood. It's just understood. Here we go. Legacy for Clark. Thank you once again. <laughs> yeah, some shady we do. Can hit that up. Man, traders, if you need a referral link, it is appreciated. It's a good service, especially if you get a, enough of a subscription that you can buy most cards. This allows me, as a content creator, to do the donation list. So, toss that out there. Allows me to do donation list for the kids, which is what we're doing today. And now we're playing in Legacy. We're, we're, just, we're just stealing money for the kids at this point. Ah! Good luck to us. Thank you, Clark. We hope we make you proud. Let's make chat proud. Hay seed? Are we allergic? Uh, I, I'm not allergic to hay, so we're good. <laughs> I, I guess I, I say that, but then if I jump in a pile of hay, it makes me a bit, like, it, it's itchy. 
Hay is just generally itchy unless it's not supposed to be itchy. <laughs> All good. All right. I have a turn one shielded. I mean, this, this hand looks good. Am I, am I about to get turn one, turn two comboed? I could him on turn one. I'm gonna keep this. Welcome to Legacy. I'm not, I don't know what my opponent's playing, so. F6, nothing to do. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I say turn one, Shildred. I think I have a turn two, Shildred, my bad. Personal Tutor. My opponent finds Doomsday. Search your library for a sorcery card, reveal it, and then shuffle it and put it in your, on, the, on top. Okay. So I can Chrome Mox. How's Doomsday work? Search your library and graveyard for five cards and exile the rest. Put those to the top of the library in any order. You lose half your life rounded up. What if I play, do they have to draw all five of these cards? Do they have to? Like, I feel like, yeah, I now have a turn one children. So I can put, This is where the majority of time is spent, pondering the existence of what will happen to me if I don't do anything. Normal win con is Thassa's Oracle. They either draw it or mill it and Thoracle. So they mill. So to me, I feel like I him to Turok here, and then next turn I play Shildred or something like that. That's That's my gut here. And like I can chrome mox the dark ritual here. At the same time, do I need to chrome mox the rotting so that I can play around days? Like, does Doomsday play days? This is this is the beauty of when you start a format again and you have no idea what's going on. What's a doomsday list look like these days? I feel like I want to just hem them. And I'm attempting to do it through a dark ritual. So let's chrome mox. Rotting registrar. Doomsday. Yeah. They got all kinds of cards. They got they got all kinds of cards. All kinds of counters. Let's go to mech second main. My opponent is holding priority here. No, there's a daze in that list. Bottom left. Um, I mean, I, I feel like I have to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna him. Him, yeah. Him, yeah. All right, we got personal to, or we got Lion's Eye Diamond and a Cavern of Souls. You get hemmed. Yeah. Is this your list, Clark? The person that donated said it, their name was Clark. I think it's, at least that's what I've noted down. If this isn't yours, it, that's cool too. You're, you're welcome to enjoy it. All right, my opponent ponders. Didn't do too much else. I'm gonna ritual here to play around days. All right, played around days. We have a Sudden Edict. I can't cast that right now. We'll just F6. Sudden Edict doesn't mess with Thassa's Oracle, though, right? Because Thassa's Oracle trigger goes on the stack. You Sudden Edict, the Thassa's Oracle doesn't have to be there. I don't know if Sudden Edict's very good against Doomsday. Probably not. <laughs> K 
Okay. Now my my opponent is in the tank. <laughs> you don't see a removal for our, for shielded. Well, that's good. That's good. And they didn't force it, so. <laughs> they might not. We may be two ships in the night just passing by. I'm going to put in the title black control because I think that's a generally what this is. It's like a black control. We did it. I don't know what I did, but we've got our first win in Legacy. We're making it happen. Okay. Uh... Trinosphere? Thoughtseize? Torpor? They have one push. Got them. I think I just take the Rottings out for the most part. Or the Sudden Edicts, actually. What does Null Rod hit? Oh, they had the Lion's Eye Diamond. That's right, we had the Lion's Eye Diamond. They go to eight off Doomsday, then they draw three or four cards to win. Doomsday pile. Petals, okay. I don't feel like Sudden Edict's very good, unless they like convert into something else. So the Transfer of Thought sees Torpor Null Rod seems okay. I, I can see some value of maybe trying to do this whole Helm of, of Obedience deal, but I think that's only if I have more going on. So. Okay, Dogfish sounds good. I, I think I think this is fine. Just a, just a simple little four, four change here. What does Meyer do? Meyer sacrifices creature or enchantment. Yeah, so we're not necessarily bringing in the ley lines so i could see like ley line and helm coming in keeping the void walkers and try to go a bit crazy there like that let's do this 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 seems fine seems fine i'm good taking down doomsday that's that's the that's the deal this looks great love this hand chalice on zero chalice on one i'm down I'm down. Helm is kind of scary for them after Doomsday. I can believe it. I can believe it. That's fair. That's fair. All right. What do you got for us, opponent? Cycles of Street Wraith. Uh, the Plague Engineer, did I have a few main board? Because I thought they were sideboard. Maybe I have a few. What's up, Dogfish? Fluffy Squad. <laughs> Let's play an Urborg and a Chalice on good old Zero. Z -Z -Z Zero. Voidwalker looks kind of tempting next turn. It's either Chalice on one, Void Walker, or Null Rod. And Chalice on zero is stopping some of that. Want to ponders again. Definitely don't hate the idea of just Chalice on one. Look at all this one drop stuff they're doing. The more optimized a format is, the better Chalice gets. That's what I talk about in modern. Same, same translation to Legacy. Legacy is highly optimized, so Chalice is popular. We're doing it. We're doing it. Chalice on zero and one. Opponent draws a card with Ponder. They choose not to shuffle the library. I guess I should state these things because pond. Yeah, you know, I don't have to. It scries in modern. This is this is whole 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 dang shuffles. A resolved Chalice on two. You don't know how they can beat. I don't know either. <laughs> None of us know. Uh, 
I'm gonna put a chalice on one. Got a chalice on zero, chalice on one, going up the chain. I've got Null Rod and Dark Confidant. There's a brainstorm. Do your thing, opponent. This is where it'd be kind of good to know, okay, should I attack the graveyard with the Void Walker, or should I be like, I'm kind of safe for a few turns here, so now I do Dark Confidant. Y you know, this is that. This is that, I don't know what Doomsday does, and if I've got time now, something tells me I probably do. Dark Confidant seems like a really good play this next turn. Maybe Shieldred is just good if I hit the land, you know, if I if I get the land. We have been playing a little bit around days. There you go, Cavern beats Chalcelon too, there you go. All the kinds of angles and, and stuff. This is a definitely a format that if you were to get a list and you play it in and out, you would get some really good benefit for doing so. Opponent Doomsdays. I want to opposition agent someone. That sounds fun. Do I see these cards? Search, five cards, exile the rest, put the chosen cards on top of your library in any order. Lose half your life, rounded up. So they go to nine. So I guess I want to land here. Just play Shieldred and see what happens. What is a Doomsday 5 pile? What is it? Thassa's Oracle is probably in there if they don't already have it in hand. What are some things they get? Do they get stuff that draws cards? This would probably help me a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to be asking the same questions. What does Delver do at this point? What does Doomsday do at this point? Huh? Cloud Post? Bunch of Street Wraiths? I can see. Okay, they got a Street Wraith, and then they use a Street Wraith to cycle down to two cards and go Kablammy. Okay. Maybe this Chalice on Zero is bad because then Chrome Mox is not castable for me. Doomsday feels like the list that you play if in a large event you would like to eat your sandwich between rounds. There's 46 cards exiled. There you go, chat. Have at it. Enjoy the pile of stuff that... There, there, there. look at the shiny one in here. Deep analysis, there's a second one. There's a street wraith. A couple dark rituals, lotus petals. Force of Wills, Brainstorms, Cabal Rituals, Thought Seizes, Personal Tutors. There's the Thassa's Oracle. We just don't have a clue what they put on top, though. Edge of Autumn. Am I just dead? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Griefs us. It's a clever, clever card. Uh, we could rip a Torp Orb here. I think if we rip a Torp Orb, we're in good shape. Torp Orb, maybe Trinisphere. Maybe not a Shieldred. Awkward. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put down, I think, Dark Confidant here and see what my opponent can do. I think they got us. I mean, need more of those hymn cards and stuff. There's Street Wraith number one. There's two cards left, Thassa's Oracle. W, one and one. Does an Edge of Autumn. There you go. That's an Edge of Autumn card that sacrifices land to cycle. All right, Hayseed. 
Are we taking anything different here? We're on the draw. Or sorry, on the play. I don't know if we really do. I don't think so. Man, imagine if we can opposition agent in response to Doomsday. Ooh. What about the engineers? I don't understand what the engineers are doing. I have two here. So you just want to pull those out for something like Helm? All right. Well, if I pull the engineers, my fault. This does a lot of nothing. We'll mulligan this. <laughs> the Doomsday goes a little too quick here. Okay. Keep this, get rid of a city of traders. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. What do you got going on over there, Hayseed? There's the Thassa's Oracle. Am I supposed to just take that? I mean, after next turn, they won't be able to cast much for a little while because they don't have another land. I'm going to take the Force of Will. You can have your Oracle. I don't care about that Oracle. This feels like Trinosphere, you play this. I have a backup Trinosphere in case they do get a counter on the first one. I don't know, that, it, it, it feels like they gotta do a lot. Feels like they gotta do infinitely a lot of things. Have a Trinosphere. Da dun da dun Take Brainstorm. I mean, after this first one, if the Trinosphere resolves, this, I mean, I, I know they've got two more, or one more, but. Bottom, bottom. Well, I really don't care if they force the first Trinosphere now at this point, but. All right, Trinosphere resolves. Awkwardly enough, I don't have another black. Awkwardly enough, I do, and I can, I can play it. I can play it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Another Trinosphere for good measure. There's nothing in exile. My opponent's not casting a spell. Let's see if they found their extra lands. They did brainstorm. Or are they brainstorm locked for a turn or two? Do I just play the other Trinosphere here? Uh, nope. Oh no, I don't have I don't have another black. I gotta wait on that, right? The trifecta of Trinospheres. My opponent has found a land. We are going to continue to play Magic the Gathering. If I hit a land, I get to Torok. That's cool. Yep, that's an Urborg. Got an Urborg. Got an Urborg. What one spell would you like to play, opponent? Oh, gosh, yes. If it was an opposition agent, we'd be like, woo! -hoo! Play that Doomsday. Oh, no! <laughs> Crap! <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
We can doomsday back. We could. What does that do for us? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, but Turok's gonna need one more land. Needs a land. Can we kill a land? No, we don't have the ability to kill land. They are going to seven, and I'm gonna attack with Dothy. Puts them to four. I mean, that's not nothing. And they can't really use the edge of bottoms because that's sacrificing a land. They can use they can use well, they could use them and float all the mana. Okay, so they can do that. Hmm. Seeds. Thank you for the bottom. Shieldred would win this game. Shieldred would win right here because they'd have to draw the cards and she'd be enough to kill them. All right, seven. Shieldred. All right, that does give me the Turok. Let's do that pre-combat because I want to see if we get anything that would be like a force or something here with the Turok. Not that I can cast it, so I guess I'm just attacking anyway. The last two cards were a Thos Thos's Oracle and a Ponder. That's got to be good, right? That's got to be good. How many Oracles do they play? We just took this out of their hand. Smack them. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, Sh Shieldred was the best draw. But they're at four now. They can't double Street Wraith. And I did just eat an Oracle. They go one Street Wraith. They're at two. Two with three cards. They do have an Edge of Autumn in their hand, I believe. So they can win this. They have to float all the mana, though. Oh, did we lose just at the, just at the end? They play well, of course. Of course, they play two oracles, right? <laughs> Edge of Autumns. I mean, it's all it's all here. They have two cards. I got the Thassa's oracle that was in hand. They cycle two. If the Thassa's Oracle's the bottom card, maybe we win. It's a cavern. Name's Merfolk. Ah, no. They got us. All right, it's close. It's close. I needed to play the, the Torak as a 2-1. I'll live and learn. It's all fine by me. All fine by me. All right. <laughs> it might have, yeah. It might have gotten there. Good stuff, though. Good good start to the legacy one. All right. We're 0-1. Our opponent is 0-2. It was a close game. Came down to the wire. Yorion Sky Noodle. I didn't know Yorion was still in formats doing the legacy thing cut okay. this hand looks good my keep yeah I'm on a red prison strong but we're here for the donation for the extra life and playing what the community wants to see so that's what we're doing All right, there's a chalice. We have a seat of the empire. I 
Or I could play a Chalice on one, then a Dark Confidant, then a Shieldred. Doesn't seem the worst. Kind of worried about Swords to Plowshares kind of effect. How about we attempt that? Let's get a Chalice on one. How about that? Okay. Well, that, that worked. <laughs> that worked. Is it the right play? We will find out together. Thalia. Okay. That's fine. Just make, making our, our spells more expensive. Play a Dark Confidant pass. And we'll play Shieldred. Do, 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 do. Looks like just mono white, like stompy stuff. I'm down with mono white stompy stuff. Two mana. Double white. Timeless dragon. Plays a basic planes. All right, Dark Confidant trigger. We find a Turok that is pro-white. That seems like it could be better than Shieldred right now. Pro-white seems pretty good. I think I will do that. I like a Shieldred for sure, but the pro-white Feels pretty good. Now they are showing red. I kind of wonder if they have, you know, maybe a stomp or something. We have Recruiter and Solitude. Okay. <laughs> this is where this stream will be a quieter. This recording will be more confusion than anything. So they can get Cards with toughness two or less. Like Thalia, for example. Probably Mother of Runes and, and things like that. I want to eternalize as the dragon. Dragon is black, though. That's a lot, handsome. That'd be a lot. Dark Confidant triggers. Say Sudden Edict and Shieldridge. I believe this is just. Shieldred territory, no attack because Torak dies to Timeless Dragon. They do lose some life here. Sudden Edict definitely doesn't seem bad against this list. Am I doing like Plague? So they return Shieldred. Am I doing Plague Engineer for like human? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, so now they've made Turok a little bit bigger, putting another Timeless Dragon in the graveyard. That'll be two Timeless Dragons. So I need a, an effect that probably makes them discard stuff. There goes Vile. If I can make them discard a couple cards and make Torak a little bit bigger, I should be able to attack through the Timeless Dragon. All right, Dark Confidant trigger. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Krakus is really a problem. Can I confidently do another a Dark Confidant here? I think I'm just going to pass. Caracas is definitely not helping us with our Shieldreds. Our legendary creatures. So they're going to eternalize the other dragon, I imagine. Oh, Lion's Sash. Okay. They're gonna equip this to the dragon. Tap 
attacks were five in the air, or four in the air. Then I'm gonna probably take some damage. Oh, Dark Confidant. No damage. You control your opponent when they're searching their libraries. I just lose to this, right? I uh, cannot. Can it? I think actually it can. Because Caracas is colorless. I feel like I'm just going to die here. This is a really good card against us. Because it just took up the lion sash on the creature. Timeless dragon fly over. Yeah. Ta-da! It bounced it. All right. I'll let them... I'll let them, them kill us here. What is this? This is a equipment cat. I don't think I'm getting another turn here. They just need to hook up the lion sash. If they don't, I could try to set an edict in opposition agent here. They just attack for four in the air. I'll sudden edict them. I know this shows that this is what I have. Maybe they'll sacrifice the dragon by accident. Down to one. Oh, do they? No, oh, I think that's yeah, true. Yes, they do. Never mind. You're correct. We good, we good. <clears throat> death by Bob? No death by Bob, yeah. Hmm. Too bad they have two flyers. <clears throat> All right. What am I doing here? Plague engineer, <clears throat> my herp. Plague Engineer, Meyer, seem okay. I mean, that dragon's a pain. Do I just bring in some ley lines and not worry so much about the Trinisphere here? Torpor. Needle solid. Crack has just made the beat down hard. I don't know if it's inherently always that way. <clears throat> I feel like Trinisphere is not very good. You're saying Torpor, Pithy Needle. I could see Plague Engineer being a little bit all right. Maybe not so much the Dark Rituals. <clears throat> And I'm thinking not the Dark Riches because of the Thalia kind of plans. That's true. Chalice may not be very good either. We could probably just do like this. Bring in a one-up helm just, just for fun. 
If four Krakuses? <sighs> so name Krakus with a bit of new. All right, let's finish up our cupcake. The frosting just fell off the cupcake. <laughs> Let's go. Let's play first. That's true. Shoulders, maybe. All right, well, I gotta keep this. This seems reasonable. Turn one Torpor. Do I need to do a turn one Torp Orb? Feels like the right thing to do. Turn one Torp Orb into like a Plague Engineer on Human. Seemed to be an okay thing to name. And followed up with Shildred. That's a, that's a nice curve, two, three, four. I think that's, that's just what I'm gonna do. It's just what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out. Well, we're not going to find out immediately. All right. So it blocks that line. Eh. Well, then we'll just play the, the dino. We got wastelanded. Mother. Swap, 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 swap. Yeah, because this does say enters the battlefield. <clears throat> Shot in port. Thalia. Let's play a Regisar. So maybe we do want this Plague Engineer and not have played the Torp Orb. Another Mother of Runes. Try it, you're curious. It says as it enters the battlefield. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of Helm. I know it's the one of Helm. Hold on. That's fine. I'm trying to play engineer in person. Yeah, when, not now. I think you're right. I think you're right. They're just gonna port my land. I'm gonna port my land. Judge, judge, judge. Oh, we stopped a Stoneforge Mystic. This is a cleric, artificial core, human, human. We wanna name human if we get to. I think they're gonna port again. Oh, <laughs> we'll just we'll just go back and forth here. Dude, dude, oh, they're gonna put something into play. I hope it's not Cauldra. What do they play in Legacy? Oh, that's right. This this thing's this thing's legal. Never mind. <laughs> what do they play called? Jitte, of course. Rep 
placement effect. Okay. My opponent doesn't appear to be putting Jatay on anything. They want to port a land again. I believe I stick the course here of discarding something and then attempting to Plague Engineer here on three. They're going to port. I need to draw land before they attach this to too many things. There we go. Human. Human. Check that out. Confirm busted. All right. Wow, we've been live for seven hours, 24 minutes, and 48 seconds. Hydrate. All right. Now what, opponent? Okay, they attack. This puts a charge counter, doesn't it? I mean, I'm blocking before it gets charge counters and all that good stuff. The charge counter goes on to it. Now they can minus one, minus one. They were going to be able to do that anyway, really. So might as well do it that way. Path to Exiles, our, our critter, we'll get another snow land. That's actually good for us. Ports of land, you got it, you got it. Do I? No, I, I this is for Caracas, right? I don't Pithy Needle Jitte here, do I? They have one land. Maybe I do. And flash an opposition agent. Doesn't seem the worst. Hmm. I kind of like that line. Mainly because if they play another creature, this thing is going to just, it just gets out of hand, right? I don't know. Caracas is obviously going to just bounce our creature, but I guess four mana do two every turn, and my opponent's at 11. I can needle afterwards. Sky Noodle just went to hand. I'm going to be attacking for three and then have this in play next turn. And it's just Sky Noodle. Who cares about Sky Noodle? Whoosh. <laughs> they fetch in response. No surprises there. Gets a plateau. So they get their red mana, whatever that's for. I imagine they want to port again. My my library only goes up to four, opponent. You can you can stop. That's a good one. Myra and Misery will allow us to get rid of a good old sky noodle. I think we I think we win this beatdown plan. I could be wrong, but uh, I think we've done enough. Plague Engineer really rocked their socks. Feeling good. Feeling good. They're at five. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> All right, so they can't port me here, so I might be able to play Myra and Children. Cool. Opposition agent coming in for three. Thank goodness that it is not legendary. <laughs> Let's get this this W, make it one and one in this game. So Nidic should clean them, whatever they put in in the way. 
You got it. How about I do this right now? All right. Their hand's empty, so. Ooh, this, this person gave us the GG's. The GG's. Is that what legacy players do? They give the GG's? They nice people over here. They nice. I, I kind of just want to submit. I think there was a talk about maybe one less children for an extra helm. Maybe I do that. I'm gonna be on the draw. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to kind of go like a little bit heavier and into it, right? Let's try it. Let's try it. We gotta use this helm a little bit. Now, I'm not bringing the ley line and the voids in, but this, this does feel like if they gum up the board just enough, that can be one of my ways to get around it. Um, so we have a Void Walker or Turn One Shieldred. I don't particularly need two Chrome Moxes typically. Hope they don't start with a Caracas. This looks good. Opponent moles to six. We'll have six for our first turn. We're not a we're not a blue list. We don't we don't counter things. We don't typically play on turn zero. Oh, prismatic vista. I feel like I want to put the void walker down as one of the first things. Now what can I do? <laughs> Swamp, Chrome Mox with a Ritual and play Shieldred. Sure. Seems like a okay turn one and then a Void Walker turn two. My opponent's going to take some damage here if they swords and or path this. I guess that's okay. It's Mother of Runes. They have the Caracas immediately. Shieldred back to hand. It was fun while it lasted. Play Void Walker here. And I'm gonna hold the Ancient Tomb. We'll hold that. We haven't gotten as much of the discard that we would have thought we would have been getting. Forcing our opponents to discard randomly. I guess we don't have that much in our actual list. This is a lot more built on stopping some other stuff. Basic Bountain. Kind of interesting. Okay. So this is where they get like Jitte, right? Oh, yo, yo, yo. We can get a Torok. We can get rid of the Jitte. Oh, they get Cauldra. See, this format plays Cauldra too. <laughs> Two drop. Kataki. I'm just dying here. I mean, I guess I can make them pay for themselves for a little while. Maybe I can kill that at some point. Cauldra's pretty powerful, you're not wrong. I think we've... I don't know. I don't know if I can keep up with Cauldra.
let them pay for their own aether vial here. <clears throat> I imagine they will. I mean, Calder doesn't block Dothy. They'll be at 10. If they have to ever tap out of Caracas, I can... Eh, they can always bounce on upkeep not to take the damage. It's kind of awkward because the sudden edict here doesn't target. I'll at least attempt this. Let my opponent remove something. It'll probably be Stoneforge. 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 Got it, yeah. All right, we take our seven, go to 11. I know I took two off Ancient uh, Tomb, but right now if we play Shieldred, they balance it, and then they're hitting us for seven, probably a little bit more every turn if they wanted to. We'll have these pay for themselves again, because otherwise they just go away. I do think we've uh, unfortunately lost this one. Well. Is there anything in exile? There is a Stoneforge Mystic. That is it. That is it. That will be pretty much all she wrote, it looks like. Let's make it a little bit difficult for them to cast anything. Aether Vial being at three, though. Just goes up to four and then five. I guess they do have to play pay for Cauldre if they want to keep Cauldre around. That is a thing. We'd have Helm out as a possible out if Ritual was in the hand. True. They don't Caracas this. That was kind of interesting. Okay, now they do. I feel like you would Caracas and upkeep so you don't take the damage if you're going to do that. Going seven, going to two. Our ancient tomb is no more now. Bummer. Bummer. And there's nothing that they've played that would have benefit us. <laughs> Can replay it all I want. Do I? Well, no, I just died to Kataki, don't I? Well, yeah, but this has first strike, haste, trample, all that. Yeah, the mother of runes, too. I mean, I guess one out here is my opponent doesn't attack. I play this prismatic vista that they've given me on the Phyrexian. And maybe my opponent is just literally not paying attention. Oh, that's not a fr never mind. I thought that was a prismatic ending. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, we're we're pretty dead there. Mother runes protect something to get through if they need to. Kataki's lethal as well. They just bounce Shieldred. Crack is really uh crack down on our 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 options there. I feel like this list could benefit at least from what we've seen 
with like an extra him or two. But maybe we haven't run into the list that opposition agent is really good at. But I feel like I want to just disrupt my opponent's hands more. It almost feels a little more stompy. A little more stompy than it is controlling. Agent's a high value card. Okay. Maybe I'm just not playing agent correctly. Maybe maybe we need to, you know, look for agents in our starting hands and steal their fetch lands, right? Well, this is turn two stuff. I don't know if turn two stuff is really good, though. Let's see if we can get something more aggressive. Okay. Keep this. Maybe get rid of the ancient tomb. Keep both black sources. Double void walker. That seems that seems good. Don't tell me this format has Ragavan as well. Badlands. Dark Ritual. Thoughtseize. Takes the Sudden Edict. Rituals again. Entombs. Gristlebrand. Anime Dead's Gristlebrand. This is fun. <laughs> Draw seven. Draw seven goes to three. Lotus Petal. Lotus Petal. Am I just dead? Clark's just like, here's what you do, because you're dead. What am I taking out? <laughs> four ley lines, four helms. Clark's just like, you're dead. <laughs> Give it up, Fluffy. Unmasks. I have a ritual and a swamps. Unmasks again. Takes my ritual. I'm along for the ride, opponent. Makes red. Faithless looting. What else you got? Archon down there. Who's the control deck now? Look at all this discard that happened. This is what we need to be doing. <laughs> I mean, do I beat this? I mean, I guess I'll play my swamp. I'll play my swamp. Go. That's right. Fluffy doesn't concede. My gosh. My gosh. I will have a swamp in my hand after this. They entomb. Who knows what. Another Archon. Yeah, go for it. Finish me. I'm standing there like... They're, they're coming in for the finishing blow right now. <laughs> Goes to nine, I go to 14. Imagine getting a ritual right now. It would be pretty good. It'd be pretty good. It's kind of why we could potentially keep playing Ritual next turn into Sudden Edict. Mm. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right, Helms and Ley Lines come in. I imagine Plague Engineer is not the greatest here. It uh, looked like they had a lot of 0-1 drops, so Chalice looks fine, Trinosphere looks fine. Oh, 
Opposition agent seems fine. Children seems fine. Rotting Registrar probably could just come out. And a Dark Confidant. Like those seven, this seven in. I don't feel like I'll have a lot of time. Dark confidants gonna take forever. Maybe, I, maybe I just like bring in the other Trinosphere here, and we could bring in like a Pithing Needle for Gristlebrand, but they might just, they just might make Archon. So I don't know if this is necessary. Not with the ley line ideas in the in the Trinospheres. Let's try this. I feel like if we get some of these cards, these Trinospheres and Ley lines and chalices, we we do our thing. This looks like a no. I mean, my opponent pretty much did everything on turn one. Not saying they're going to have the busted hand this time, but... I mean, I guess, what, on turn two? Oh, right, it is a turn one Dothy, that's true. And then I have Helm in two turns, probably. I mean, we can try this. All right, I'm down to try this, that's true. It's a Dothy on turn one. Mm, a little nervous that my opponent will just have the answer to Dothy. I mean, I, but maybe they're looking for the answer to to uh, a uh, ley line of the void or something. Okay. Doesn't seem too bad. I still need a little bit of help here. Basic swamp. Thought sees goodbye helm. Goodbye helm. <laughs> There's no way they, they let us have both of, well, no reason to take the one that's two of, right? We have a we have a fighting chance. We have the fighting chance. Takes the children. Interesting. Okay. Lotus Petal. Black Mana Ritual. Animate Dead. Animates my children. Feels jolly. <laughs> How very rude indeed. No, give it back. We got to get some wins. I mean, I'm just attacking. And we're just going to pass the turn. I guess I want a ritual here for the helm kill. I can also just play Shieldred to negate some of this pain that we're, we're incurring here. Opponent Thought Seizes. Well, we're going to play whatever they don't take here, which will be Shieldred, it looks like. Three damage in. They're doing the damages. We're going to try to do the damages back. There's a bonus, Dothy. Is it better to just play bonus Dothy here? I feel like it might be. I actually feel like it might be to have the redundant Dothy out. This could backfire that they are then able to strip this out of my hand.
but then I'm attacking for six unblockable. And then my, my theory here is this next turn I'll play this and then they can't get through because I'll have the blocker. And then I have six power coming through and it's two turn clock. Um, I guess it's not two turns because they'll gain life here before I get this down to force them to lose life. I feel like this is a quicker quicker clock by putting this down. Opponent plays a Scrublands. Going to six, but now we offset the life total. They don't usually have removal for Dothy. Okay, it's good to know. I like a redundant threat being a little more controlling and knowing that's keeping the graveyard in check here. So gain two, lose two here. Uh, Shieldreds bounce off of each other. Probably want to stop using Ancient Tomb if I can. We are down our game, so maybe maybe we can... Um... Oh, we got the GGs. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Go again and look for Leyline, right? <laughs> that's that's what we're doing for game three. Feels like a very game three thing to do. Let's go. I feel I feel like, yeah, we just need Leyline, because otherwise, yeah, they're gonna do the crazy reanimation stuff. They're gonna go crazy. This can't be good enough, right? Maybe if they mulligan, I can like entertain the idea of that opposition agent could take the search away from them. They do mulligan to six. I don't think this is worth it though. They're probably looking for that turn one, turn two. I mean, we'd have to get past two of their turns. I think we need to find that ley line. Yeah, mold the ley line. Well, this doesn't do it either. <laughs> this hand doesn't look very good. Mold the ley line, here we go! All right, I found it. I wanna keep the ley line. Chrome Mox is kind of bad here. Keep the Chalice and get rid of Herborg. Actually, get rid of Swamp so I can use the Ancient Tomb without pain later. Okay. And then we can Chalice into Trinisphere and see what happens. Thoughts? Ease? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Put it in the graveyard. There it goes, into the graveyard. Goodbye, Chalice. Lead with an Urborg, see what they go. No, they stole it. They stole the Trinisphere, that jerk. Faithless looting. All right, so is there is their goal here to basically hard cast one of those big threats at this point, or do they have do they have a way to to get rid of this ley line? At least I have a sudden edict, I suppose. Another Faithless Looting. See what they ditch. Dark Ritual and Lotus Petal. Gets a land. 
They have one card. I can beat one card, right? I want to get that Bloodstained Mire, but we have an Urborg, so they're probably like, man, good. Maybe they need more red. I mean, I feel like I just fire it in when they search, right, for anything. I'm going to hold it because... I'm all about that gotcha. I don't know what I'm doing, chat. End of their turn. But then they'll fetch, and I have a Trinisphere now. I don't know what I'm doing, Clark. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, Clark. Oh, opposition agent just resolves. Nice. This this is Fluffy and Legacy. Fluffy would have to play Legacy for probably two weeks straight to even have a clue of what's happening. Fluffy needs to be educated. Needs a needs an entire course and lesson on Legacy content. We are in game three though, and we have a chance here against a Reanimator essentially. So we will we will take what we can get. We're punching in for three. I'm doing fine. Well, thank you. <clears throat> I suppose my opponent does not have double red. That that's it's a saving grace here. We're doing it. Another polluted to Delta. Ha! Now they don't have blue either. It's like Blood Moon on the stick. Imagine Wasteland. I'd Wasteland my Urborg. <laughs> Look at all that mana I got. Ancient Tombs. Ancient Tombs. Okay. Well... Bam! I got Trinisphere down. We did it. We're getting a win for the children. Have you joined us and are wondering why Fluffy Wolf is playing Legacy? Check out our Extra Life page. You'll find there that you can and may want to donate. Donating towards Extra Life helps support Children's Miracle Network Hospitals and helps us achieve the goal that you see at the bottom of the page. Grace has been so kind as to link you in that a location of where to make that donation. Thank you for flying fluffy air. We got a win. One, two. Thank you. Making, making Clark proud. Wow, that was immediate into the next league. I wasn't ready. If you do go to that donation page, you can get cool incentives like our pin or maybe even a play map. Our dragon chromatic dragon play mat with the cool scales and the awesome dice and crystals bam easy win <laughs> easy win obviously all right what is the says clark says too slow i haven't even looked at it because you know well there's double urborgs what if they're what if they're the what if they're the white human player thing with the thalias and stuff Okay, this is about as slow. But I have this opposition agent now. Snap, snap, snap. I guess I could keep this. We don't know what our opponent's on. It's a little slow, but we have a draw. I mean, can can you really? Go all the way down to five. We could we could top deck a dark ritual and then then the world just implodes. We get to play all this kind of stuff. 
Volcanic Island Ponder. Bobble. Uh, the ponder. Okay, nothing crazy happening just yet. How about we put a chrome mox in? And I'm going to get rid of this plague engineer. We <laughs> don't get rid of the plague engineer. We like the sudden edict. Engineer on human is good here. I mean, I could just try to jam that right now. We don't have uh, it ponder. They pondered. All they've done is pondered. I feel like I'm gonna put the plague engineer underneath. That's what my gut told me to do. We're 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 one and two. We're making that comeback. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. End step opposition agent into children. Bam. My Misty. No! Bolted. All right. That was the fastest Misty Rainforest ever. Is this just like Murktide, but in Legacy? What the heck is happening? I feel like I play Shieldred here. I have two sudden edicts. Let's do it. They don't have, they don't have a counter. Oh, this format. Oh, got dazed. I'm playing against Murktide in Legacy. I, I came to Legacy on a donation list not to play against the big dragon. What is happening? What's hilarious, though, is I've actually run Sudden Edict for this exact matchup in Modern. Modern Legal, by the way. Bam. Get hit. Go away, Delver. Go away, Delver. Go away. So it's very much Delver. I can see where Plague Engineer on Human is, is decent. We'll let that resolve here. I want to see what else I have. Oh, gosh. Maybe I shouldn't have let that happen. Well, actually, I'm sort of happy because I'd rather play Plague Engineer. Okay. It all worked out. It's working out. Very few Murtides and Vintage. You should try. <laughs> Just keep keep going down the rabbit hole. Come join us in the Vintage Club. I gotta kill Darcy at some point here. Someone's gonna run away with this. They got another Darcy. This isn't good. At least these are two twos now. I can't exactly attack into the other one because then it'll turn into the three three on the other side. Here, have an ancient tomb. <laughs> have an ancient tomb. Thanks. Yeah, they must attack here. The problem is they're flying. I'm at 12, they're at 17. So there's there's kind of a there's there's kind of a problem here. They're gonna race me faster. 
I do do five, but we're gonna go to eight, they're gonna go to 12, then I'm gonna go to four, then they're gonna go to eight, sorry, seven, then I'm gonna go to dead, and they're gonna be like, what's up? Not another Merc Tide. Dang it. I don't have any targeted removal, do I? Leyline and Helm comes in? Sounds good. What am I taking out? Plague Engineer seems like it should maybe come in, too. So you're saying Helm, Light Line. Like, Trinisphere feels okay, Plague Engineers, Myers a maybe. So I've got 10 cards that that speak to me. I could see Torok and him not being very good in this matchup. Maybe, maybe Voidwalker's just not that good either. Keep Void. Oh, that's right. I'm bringing Helm in. My bad. Turok, him, Dark Confidant. Maybe it's just the Rotting Registrar. Granted, Rotting Registrar is pretty big. My opponent doesn't search that much. Maybe the Opposition Agent just has to come out. We're hanging on to that way too much. Now you can do something like this. I'm on the play, maybe the Trinosphere is a little bit stronger. Seems all right. XC Smile, I think I've seen in the Legacy deck dumps online <laughs> i have a feeling i'm getting rocked by a, a professional getting rocked by a professional all right chalice on one into trinosphere with a edict to follow that up i mean it's what we'd want to do in modern it doesn't seem too bad here i will be a little bit behind because the city will uh will go away but we got plenty of land so Cut a chrome mox. Okay. Volcanic Island passing the turn. I'm going to go for this. If they counter it, then I just have the sudden edict, and now I'll work my way up to the Leyline of the Void. Dazed. Dazed. Rinse, repeat. Okay. Not the greatest, but we're doing okay, it looks like. Kind of time walked my opponent a little bit there. Apparently this list draws a lot of lands, <laughs> I've noticed. I draw a lot more of lands in this than I do in modern. I feel like I'm supposed to attempt to just slam Leyline in the Void here. I could also just try to play around Days. Or at least going one more here. 
Does Legacy just play lots of lands? It feels like it feels like modern players miss them. All right, I played around days, sort of. Sort of. Okay, that resolved. We did it. We got the void. Do, 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 do. Off Dark Ritual. No, don't do that, Clark. Don't do it. If you do that, you can't play around days. All right, we got the Registrar out there. My opponent's got five mana, so they get hard cast force of will. And apparently, Chalice on one is 100% busted. I'm hitting submit. I'm hitting submit. I know we talked about taking a Chrome Mox out. No, that's going to give me that Chalice on one. Clearly busted. Chrome Mox, City of Traders. Hmm. Not the greatest land to have. Hmm. I think we mulligan this. It's a lot of four drops. I don't think Leyline's like the mull or win kind of thing. Okay. This is better. I'm gonna draw lots of lands. My gut tells me we're gonna flood. We're gonna put void walkers in. We're gonna do helms. Opponent's gonna kind of not know what hit him. Not know what hit him. First spell, ponder. Is it worth a turn one void walker? This just gets bolted, right? It is? But they're gonna just bolt this, right? I mean, I guess we're getting closer to just Helm here. I don't know. Seems kind of all in, and I just feel like we just lose a void walker here to something Silly. All right, I can sudden edict some stuff, so move it out of the way. Not that it needs to be moved. Thanks, Shadow. Attack and pass. <laughs> Bye, Void Walker. Bye, Void Walker. Hey, we find out that they have a ponder on top. And they use that ponder. Luckily, I can sudden edict these creatures that they're playing. I think I just try to keep my life total nice and juicy and high here. Nice and high. All right. No land. Expressive iteration for our opponent. Flooded Strand, no follow-up. Follow-up at end step, Mystic Sanctuary. Puts Expressive Iteration back on top. Oh boy. Well, this is what I get for putting the land back. <laughs> this is what I get. Don't. 
Steam vents. Okay. Ooh, they shocked that in. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm going to pass on playing a Chalice on one. I am confident my opponent has a counter spell of sorts. And here we sit, watching the clock tick by. <laughs> yeah, there there is something to be said about when it's just energy based that you can have. You can just you can just kind of play your spells, and it's randomized, just like a, a a deck building game. But this is uh certainly difficult here on turn seven. I would have three mana, but that still wouldn't be buying me a whole lot here. I can honestly say. Let's go ahead and attempt a chalice on one as one of our first things we do here. I feel like the chalice on one is strong. My opponent can obviously wasteland an ancient tomb here. I didn't want to really run a shieldred into just a counter as well. I could have left up Sudden Edict. I chose to keep my life total nice and, and high. Chalice back to my hand. Easy Wasteland. Back down to two. My opponent has a lot of cards. A lot of cards. Do, 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 do. Land. Yeah. Look at that land. Let's go back on this Chalice on one. We could name Fairy Rogue. We could name that to get rid of the uh, Brazen Borrower, possibly. Chalice on one currently is resolved. You have to kind of wonder what my opponent is doing over there. So the Brains and Borrower is played. Tax for three. Absolutely fine. Maybe if I hit one more land, I just go for the Shieldred. All right. How about we do that? This days finally? Did you get a target? They're like, this isn't even days worthy. So apparently that's all my opponent's playing is days as their counter spell. We have not seen a force, we have not seen anything else, not even straight counter spell. Here comes Murktide. If I can get Plague Engineer down on Fairy Rogue and then potentially Sudden Edict, we might have a game here. My opponent's going to just get that Expressive Iteration. This increases Murktide to a 9-9. Nine, nine. I'm being hit for three. I believe I'm dead in two swings if I don't hit this land. Okay. Try Plague Engineer to get rid of the Brazen Borrow so that I can Sudden Eating next turn. I think that's my only line. Double Edict maybe has some game there. 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to 2. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. All right. We got one last one in the legacy category here for Clark playing our shielded version. This is an extra life donation list and uh, we're getting kind of kind of rocked here in legacy. Kind getting kind of rocked, not going to lie. Getting punched around. But this will be the last one of the magic content sweeping out the donation lists and we got a couple more tomorrow. 
We'll be jumping over to a little bit of Minecraft for the cool down of this, this evening, right before good old dinner. Hopefully everyone's enjoyed themselves. And if you have, maybe consider a donation to our Extra Life page. It's located here in chat. We want to thank all of those that are donating. Those that have helped us reach $1,200 thus far. Our next milestone is at 2000 Remember that you can get a pin, you can get a deck donation. And keep in mind that while the deck donation could be a legacy, could be popper, could be modern, it doesn't necessarily have to be just in Magic. We could entertain a deck in Marvel Snap as well. The only thing I would ask is if the Marvel Snap one would be a pool zero deck. If the pool zero deck, I would play that. I don't know how many matches would be appropriate for a donation. Maybe 10 to 15 or so. Maybe 10 or 15 probably. Yeah, pool one. Pool one deck. Pool zero is the intro. Yeah, I have all of pool one. Did I say something in pool zero? I thought I said pool one. All right, what did Raptus is our final opponent tonight? Well, I don't hate my hand. I'm gonna keep. We've we've been told that opposition agent, and I can do this on turn two. It ain't bad. See what happens. Let's see what happens. Basic swamp for our opponent. They kinda they kinda doing the same thing that we're doing. I think I will opposition agent at end step. And then maybe shield it or something. Oh boy. It's the mirror. It is the mirror. <laughs> I'm not ready for the mirror. I'm gonna let this hit me. I'm gonna opposition agent and then I'll play shieldred. It, 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 it is the mirror. We get the mirror as our final match of the night. What a what a what a wild ride. There we go. Shieldred's in play. They have three cards. I have an opposition agent that can swing here. Well, let's see if I've learned anything about this list. How about that? This should teach. Teach us if we've figured out anything on this list at all. <laughs> We're going to avoid playing the Urborg because if I want them to tap for mana, I want them to take some pain. Take some pain. Drops a land here. Three cards. Floats two mana. Four mana. Ooh, what? Mmm. Mmm. Karn's a little bit different than our version. Karn's a little different. They go up with Karn. Okay. We die if we can't kill the Dothy. While this is somewhat true, we we are kind of staying alive here too. I'm gonna just threaten to, to kill him. I don't know what they can get with Karn because our version doesn't have Karn. They get Helm and combo kill us. So you're saying I should have attacked I mean, they need one more mana, right? I guess I guess it's it's likely they'll have it. There's the helm. Oh no, they don't need one more. I thought this was a two activation. All right, so that's how that works. My game froze. Oh gosh, my game froze. 
<laughs> we broke magic online. <laughs> it's frozen. There it goes. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, more combo heavy. We have we have we have gathered that. I think Chalice sucks here. So our own Helm probably comes in. Transferia yeah, can probably be cut. Pithy Needle Null Rod. Plague Engineer. Thoughtseize? Hey, Thoughtseize. I could just do the ley line. Pithy needle for Karn. This just doesn't feel right. All right, we'll try this. I don't know, this just doesn't feel right. I feel like the combo is gonna be a lot stronger than me. All right, we'll keep this. Ley lines for our helm. We're gonna we're gonna helm them. You know what? Since you said it doesn't do anything, bam. Land Chrome Mox Leyline by Regisaur Pithy Needle on uh Karn the Great Creator. Good luck, us. Hey there, my name is Rolly, and I work at the Children's Hospital of SA. Saw you were live on the Extra Life site. Wanted to drop in to say hi. Thank you for fundraising. It's incredible. Thank you. Definitely share it out. We have a cool play mat this year. We're, we're doing all the things. Trying to make the money. Get it to the kids. Appreciate you stopping by. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're, we're, we're attempting to make a difference. All right, who's ready for the sudden edict now that I've gone all in? Dark ritual, children. Okay, goodbye. Well, I'm gonna race you. I'm racing you, hit you for seven. Shush, Nightbot, we don't have to brag. Nightbot's like, yo, look at this. Facebook done. Perfect time. Look at that. Representative shows up and boom. Donation. Thank you, Facebook person. Appreciate it. You can be like that Facebook post person by by following the link that Grayus has put in the chat. Once we finish here, we're going to cool down with a little bit of Minecraft. And then we will be live once again tomorrow for another nine hours or so. Time should be roughly the same. We'll play some Magic. We'll play some other games. We're going to get those kids taken care of. Opponent attacks with the Shieldred. We're 14-15 for them. We are drawing a card, and, and it, it hurts us. We're, uh, we're fighting the good fight here. Unfortunately, it's going to take an extra hit here, and, and if I do the math right here, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Because it's six, technically. I can hold back Rotting Registrar this next turn, I suppose. That wasn't the plan. We were supposed to smash him with Dino. Uh-oh. Four mana. Leyline of the Void. All right, Dino. You might have to hold back here. There's Helm. Helm is not what we need. Dino's put on the brakes. 
Now they can't attack. Don't have the sudden edict opponent. Don't do this to us. We have a family. We don't want to be one in four. Fluffy has learned his lesson. Don't go all in. No attack. We discard Helm. Well, they didn't kill Rotting Registrar last time. We'll swing. We'll try to play Plague Engineer naming... Raider. And hope that that block is enough. <laughs> hope that block is enough. Plague on human? Why on human? Why not on her? Make sure I got the right one. It's got to be on that, right? Makes her 3 4. I mean, we are 100% blocking if they attack, but my opponent is at 7, so if they attack, they need to have a follow up creature to block with. Which apparently they do. These do have Death Touch, though. Name's Dinosaur. Thanks. Well, we die. It was a good run. Not like this. Not like this. Dino was good. They just had the Shieldred. If they didn't have the Shieldred, we were gonna we were gonna clock them and win it. And we were gonna go to game three. Legacy may not be my cup of tea. <laughs> I may be confused while I'm here, but I hope that the league was enjoyable. We had some uh, moments of ahas, and um, yeah. Such is life. Such is life. We played a format we're not familiar with. It was enjoyable. Definitely something different. A lot of lists that... It's just kind of crazy. You you kind of recognize a little bit of what's going on. And then and then other times you don't have a clue. Oh gosh. It's Soren. It's Soren. Look at this. Look at who showed up at the end. Look at who showed up at the end. One for Legacy Shieldred Control in in Legacy. Here's your list for this donation deck thank you so much for supporting extra life supporting the kids as well with your donation it is greatly appreciated and i hope that it will go a long long way i don't have much to say i feel like you know you you get a small sampling of a format and you're just like so so what is going on here and with that small sampling of the format you you don't get a good good sense of if the list is really good. We can talk in modern because we know more of the format, but in legacy, just kind of a wild, wild, wild ride. But it was fun either way. There's your list. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you.